Um, no, you're right. I see. Um, I see a lot of them playing with the um the book. What's that? Forty Eight Powers of Law. Now that book right there is that is is based on the way you perceive things, right? Because you got some people that get the book and they try to use it in a devilish way against people. Then you have people who get the book and they use it in the most proper way, right? And then you just got some people that just have the book and they don't really understand what it's saying. So they try to use it and it comes out in a destructive way. So I see a lot of people talking about the 48 powers of law. Uh, play your enemy closer than you play your friends. Um, love your enemies like you love your friends. All this. A lot of this these dudes don't understand. Because if they did understand it, they wouldn't be getting the results that they're getting from it, right? Um, to, to the brother Killer Kev, I think he should need to leave that drama alone with that other brother, uh, Schemo, and whoever else. Just leave it alone. Let it go. Sometimes you have to let things go. Um, I always big up the brother Soul B and um, the brother B.O., be original. And Queens flip, right? They set it off. Um, be original, set it off. And just let things go, man. Just let it go. Sometimes you have a gripe with some people. You got not really a beef. It's just like a little gripe that you want to get your point across. You can do it in so many other ways. You know, talk to someone, man. You got your queen there. You know what I mean? Talk to your queen, man. You know what I'm saying? Talk to your queen. Sometimes these women will give you the best advice, man. Especially if they love you. You know, if that's your queen and y'all rolling together like that, she loves you. She's going to give her boo, her king, the best advice, man. Talk to a woman, man. You're talking to these other dudes that's angry, that's bummed out, mad about their situation that they place themselves in. And they keep placing themselves in them situations, man. These dudes ain't learning from nothing, man. You do 25 years in jail, 30 years in jail, and you come out and you playing the game the same way that what got you in there. You ain't learning nothing. You know what I'm saying? They refuse to learn. And I'm looking at certain YouTubers and they are the bait themselves. They are the bait. You looking at me saying... I already know what this cat is about. You already know why he came to the YouTube world. It's for the views, to beg, and just to be lazy. And to cause trauma. I mean, to cause drama. This is what these other media outlets are doing, man. I ain't even going to call out their names. They're causing drama amongst these OGs, man. These dudes been through so much. This is the time for Helen. Uh, the brother, uh, Be Original, Black Mogul. Him and his wife and his son. Um, fly tie, something like that. His son, his son got the skills. His son got the skills. I was listening to uh, some of the music. His son got the skills. And um, he's, not, he's not ashamed of his son. He's not ashamed of his family. He's not ashamed of um, the mistakes that he made, right? Some of these mistakes is good. They got us to where we at. That's why I always big up the brother Be Original. Um, what's the other brother? Mel Cross. I was on the phone with Mel Cross speaking to Mel Cross. You know, we was just trading ideas back and forth, good ideas. And, f and on the book tip, me and Mel Cross was talking about some good books. That brother read some good books. I got to get, um, some more, um, good books from some names. I got to, um, when I go downtown Brooklyn to the warehouse, you know what I mean? Um, I think it's over there by Nevin somewhere. They got a warehouse in Brooklyn. With all of the good books for the low, you know what I mean. And you sell books, you know you sell books because you know they. Me myself, I don't really lend my books out like that anymore. So people are gonna wanna um, hold the books, and I just sell it to them for a good price. You know what I mean? Maybe for um, you know a little little extra ends and whatever it costs to get down there, transportation wise. But yeah, brother Mel Cross is is another one. Of the brothers that's walking with the staff, right? Wise brother, uh, Mel Cross. They wise. Those those dudes is wise brothers. Um, Killer Kev. Killer Kev is wise too. Just might be a little bit more emotional than them brothers, ready to set it off. And you can't um, allow yourself to be taken out of your zone, brother Killer Kev. If we're feeling low. 
and and we know about that low state and we could go there anytime you have some other people that's low vibrational that will pull that personality out of you so you're doing good you're giving knowledge on instagram and youtube i've seen it and then you got somebody that comes along and and, and tries to um put you back in your old position so they can tell people, see, that brother ain't right. I told you that brother ain't right. That brother's slow. He's crazy. This, that, and the third. These are just words, man. We're all vibrating on a different level. Some are faster. Some are slower and, and different things. You know what I mean? Probably when it comes to, you know, shitting out that razor and hitting a nigga, Killer Kev might be faster than the average cat. So does that mean he's better? No. When it comes to computers or, or, or academics or whatever, another brother might be... um quicker with it than Killer Kev or um or what's the other brother Corey King that doesn't mean that you're better than so as a people man we got to stop this um amongst each other all of them brothers is great and all of them brothers have their own lane my brother Queens Flip he's not going to be able to save all of them because everyone doesn't resonate with each other or certain predicaments the same some dudes is just wild dudes they just out there, no matter how much you help them. And you got some dudes you ain't got to do nothing for. You just lay it out, and these dudes, um, they know what to do. But I do notice something. Um, when you with, when you with a strong female that really loves you and has your back, a lot of times the mission is different. Trust me, the mission is different. Um, I know um, Corey King. You know, I think all these brothers is with um, strong women. That's why I say confide in your woman. Talk to your queen. Sometimes you call up these haters and they will give you the wrong advice. And like I said before, man, it's these YouTubers and the, the under media that's creating the drama. And um, like I said to uh, Brother Killer Kev, leave that alone, man. I, I say please leave that alone. And um, the rest of your subscribers, supporters, fans, whatever, need to send out that message, man. Tell these dudes to dead that. Because, um, you know, we're clicking on to the videos. We're reposting them. Some people remixing their own. It's creating more drama. Killer Kev, Stack Stone, and all, leave that drama alone. Just let it be. You know what I mean? Y'all your brothers did too much years in jail. Left your family. Y'all out here now teaching the babies, right? They're paying attention to y'all. Just captivate that. You got some dudes out here that they don't have that like y'all. You know, they might have more subscribers. They might have, get more views, but they don't have the power to push the movement like y'all. And that's why now they got you two brothers fighting against each other. Let it go. Let it go, man. It, you know, especially no one shedding any blood. It has been no major disrespect. Let it go because that other YouTuber is pinning y'all brothers against each other. Killer Kev and um, Killer Kev and the brother Stack Stone. Uh, it's another YouTuber that's creating a drama with them two brothers. I think y'all know who it is. Me, myself, I ain't really screaming out their names anymore because people like that. They tell you, yo, don't scream out my name. Don't use my name for this. But they deep down inside, they really, really like it because like I said before, everyone wants to be seen and heard by someone. So knock it off.